Sodium. It's one of the, if not the best performance mod for Minecraft. And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it. First things first, go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Sodium. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click the download Sodium button to be taken to Sodium's official download page on Modrinth. On this page, click on versions and then find the version you want. In our case, that's going to be 1.21.5. And for platform here, we want to select fabric. We're going to be getting the fabric version of Sodium. If you want to know how to get the Neo Forge version, we're going to be uploading a video on getting Neo Forge mods. So be sure to subscribe for that. Nonetheless, once you're here, go ahead and click the download button here next to the 1.21.5 fabric version. And it will go ahead and start downloading Sodium. You may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. 100% safe to do that. So let's go ahead and click save there. And while that's downloading, how to miss from our company, Simple game hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH, your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods to your server and customize your server any way that you want with mod packs and plugins and all of that stuff. There's even one-click mod pack installation, making adding those extraordinarily easy. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. And truthfully, the goal of Simple Game Hosting is to make playing Minecraft with your friends as quick, easy, and simple as possible. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz says SGH, and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, with Sodium downloaded, we can now download Fabric. Fabric is going to be the mod loader that allows us to actually add and use Sodium in Minecraft. Fabric kind of sits in the middle between Sodium the mod and Minecraft the game, right? And makes them work together. For Fabric, you can find it linked in the description down below, of course, and scroll down and click Download Fabric here to go to Fabric's official download page. On this page, go ahead and click on this Download Universal Jar link. The reason we're doing that is because it'll allow you to install other Minecraft mods in the future easier once we get Fabric. Go ahead and click on save here and the download will begin. Again, you may need to keep or save it. All good to go there. And now we can minimize our browser. Now, with that minimized, what we want to do is move these from our downloads folder to our desktop. So downloads folder here. We've got fabric and sodium. I'm going to move these to the desktop and we're going to actually get started here with the fabric installer first. Right click on fabric, click on open with, click Java and the fabric installer will open up. However, what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't open up or what if you don't have Java at all when you right click and open with? Well, that's because you need to get Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft mods, specifically 1.21.5 Minecraft mods, and it's linked in the description down below to get this complete guide and get it set up and running. You may also need to run the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files to your computer, like Fabric, and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead, minimize the browser, and open up that Fabric installer with that right click, open with Java. Once this is opened up here, we want to make sure 1.21.5 is selected, create profile file is checked and then click install. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. And you also want to make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.5 before. I know a lot of people cannot play Minecraft without Sodium. Luckily, you just have to open it up to the main menu. So just go into the Minecraft launcher, click play, open Minecraft 1.21.5 to the main menu, close out of it, and then you'll be able to install Fabric here. Click OK, close out of the Fabric installer, and delete it. Let's get Sodium. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, we'll have a fabric installation. We can see that is already selected here by default, but we don't want to play Minecraft with it anyway. So let's go to installations up here at the top and then make sure modded is checked because if mod is not checked, fabric's not there. Once you check it, there it is. But if for whatever reason you don't have fabric loader 1.21.5 here, no worries. We can go ahead and create a new installation. I'm going to name this simplegamehosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the versions drop down box here. Then what we want to do is select release fabric loader 1.21.5 right here. This is the version we want. I'm going to set the resolution so we can and see a little better later and then go ahead and click install make sure launch after install is not checked you do not want this checked if it's checked it'll play minecraft and you have to close it to install sodium so we want to make sure that that is not checked then click install click cancel there and there we go we have this new profile now how do we install sodium well you want to hover over the fabric installation either the one you created or the one that was there by default and click the folder icon this will open up your minecraft folder and here you should have a mods folder but if for whatever reason you don't just go ahead and create one right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that open up your mods folder and now drag and drop sodium into your mods folder right like so and sodium is now installed it's that easy to add sodium to minecraft all you got to do now is play minecraft using your fabric installation and then once you've played minecraft with fabric it will open up and you'll have all the sodium settings now if you do want shaders that's actually not sodium it's the thing called iris shaders that adds to minecraft and luckily we've got an in-depth guide on how to get shaders on the channel it's also linked in the description down below and that'll show you how to get iris shaders and get shaders added 
on top of sodium. Nevertheless, once you're here, we can go ahead and go into options, video settings, and then we have all of the sodium settings here. By default, sodium actually just does a lot in the background. There's not a lot of settings to change because it just makes Minecraft perform better. That being said, there is a lot you can add to this and crank even more performance out of sodium as well as uh, some other mods. It can be a lot to manage though, and that's why we have our own mod pack here called Notified. The goal is to be an Optifine replacement based in fabric using sodium, and it gets better performance than Optifine most of the time, and even a lot of times better performance than sodium because we add in more performance mods that actually optimize the game even further than sodium. There's even shaders packs installed by default with Notified. So if you just want the easiest way to get kind of all this set up, come here, install this mod pack using the Curse Forge app, and you're good to go. It's linked down below on CurseForge as well as Moderinth. But with that being said, you now know how to get sodium in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.